Hello, gorgeous. Happy Sunday and happy daylight savings time. Is anybody else as excited as I am that the sun is going to be setting later in the day? I love the sunny part of the year. Super excited about it. Um, but I came on here to talk about how earlier today I shared a no makeup, no filter selfie in my private group. And yes, I am a skincare girl and I recognize that um, my skin has come a long way, but there was a time, even as a skincare girl, where I would not have done that. I was far too fixated on always presenting perfectly. And I recognize now that that held me back. See, I was raised in an environment where excellence was the expectation. And I'm not knocking that because it served me well in academics, in corporate America, in social structures, having that expectation of always having your I's dotted, your T's crossed, walk in the line, that served me really well. But when it came to branching out, trying new things, presenting in a way where I might be vulnerable or appear flawed or bruised, it held me back. It held me back in a lot of ways. And it really took years of worrying and deep work and working through my anxiety to recognize that progress is more important than perfection. You don't have to be perfect. We're not here to be perfect. We're here to be real. And that is what people are going to relate to. That is what people are going to resonate with. People are going to Think more of you when you're willing to just be yourself. And so you guys are going to see a dynamic shift in a lot of my content. It's going to be less clinical. It's going to be more open because you de you guys deserve the raw. Like I give you my very best every time I show up, but I recognize that even now there are spaces where I could be more open with you. And so I plan to do that in the future. So bear with me through that because in many ways, it feels really naked. So get ready for that as I make this transition in my content. Um, I talked to them a lot about today in my private group how we all have our favorite TV shows and you have a favorite character on this TV show. And it doesn't matter. Like, for instance, I love House or The Good Doctor. I really like Bones and Abbott Elementary. Um I like, I like a lot, Greenleaf, all kinds of things. But every single main character that you can think of, it doesn't matter how good they are at what they do. They also typically have a flaw. They have a really big flaw, a flaw that makes them human, relatable, more themselves, easier to love. And when you recognize that redeeming quality in somebody else where it's like, you know what? They're human use that as a permission slip for you to be the same. Now, I don't say it's a permission slip for you to not work on your flaws or work on the things that you could do better in, but it's just to remind you that that thing that you're insecure about or uncertain about or worried about or you're not great at, it doesn't make you unlovable. In fact, in many ways, it makes me people love you more. It makes people relate to you more. And so I'm going to keep that in mind. I'm urging you to keep that in mind as we step into this next season for ourselves. Spring is around the corner. And when spring is around the corner, that means new beginnings are around the corner. If you want to get a jump start on a new beginning tomorrow, I am kicking off the main energy challenge, five days, prompts, inspiration, collaborative community, one-on-one -on -one access to me. If you want those things, come hang out with me. I'm super excited. I'll drop the link for that below. Um, the group is up and running. People are already talking. And I don't want you to miss this opportunity to kickstart your main character era. This is a new time. It's a new opportunity to do something different. You keep saying that 2024 is going to be your year. What are you going to do to make it that way? I am pledging right now that I'm going to be more open, more vulnerable, more raw. That is how I'm owning my main character energy for 2024. What are you going to do? Balls in your court. I love you and I can't wait to see you. And as always, I can't wait to see your transformation. Bye, girl.